What's good with y'all? Welcome back to that Hall Wars Legacy. And before I get into this video, I just want to let y'all know that I switched houses. Don't, 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 don't trip on me. Don't trip on me. Don't trip on me too hard. I had to switch it up. And the reason why I had to switch it up is because everybody wanted to be Slytherin so they could be bad. Look, I'm a real deal Harry Potter fan. I have favorite characters. And the only reason why I wanted to go to Slytherin was because Voldemort is like my second favorite character. First or second. I got to go on my list again. But my top three is Voldemort, Dumbledore, and Sirius Black. I think Sirius Black is number one. But I wanted to go there because I do kind of agree with some, not all, but some of Voldemort's ideologies as far as like being the best you can be. I don't really care for all that pure blood nonsense. The best that you can be, take your talents to the next level. And that's what that boy Valdi was about. But I decided, since I saw everybody going to Slytherin because everybody want to be the bad guy, I was like, you know what? I don't care about being a bad guy anymore. I just want to be absolute powerful. So I went to the house that closely resembles who I am, which is Ravenclaw. Creativity, intellect, wittiness. That's me. That's me. If you didn't know, I'm a painter on the sides. You know, I get busy with the creativity. But I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and just switch houses because I don't think too many people are with Ravenclaw. Everybody want to go Slytherin or to Gryffindor because they want to blow the grip of Harry. But I'm over here in Ravenclaw. Here's my owl. Here's the little bunk bed. It's kind of cool. I definitely can say they got the best dorm area in common room. Let me show y'all around. Let me give y'all a tour. Let me give y'all a tour. All right. If you go all the way down to the bottom, right? You all go all the way down to the bottom. I believe there are some bathrooms down here. And I believe this is the only one or the only house with bathrooms at the bottom. Let me see. Oh, never mind. I think it's up top. Or is it over here? Oh, it's over here. It's over here. You see this? Ain't this luxurious? I don't think any other house has this. They got the showers right there. Oh, that one kind of dirty. They need to learn how to clean up after themselves. But it got a nice little bathroom. And then they got a sky view, too. Now let's go. Let's go up top. Just showing y'all around MTV Cribs. You view me, MTV Cribs, Hogwarts edition. All right, let's go up to the, the common room, and I'll show y'all the... It's two common rooms, actually. Three of them. I'm sorry, three. You got this little common oh, room nice over here. nice to see you, my young friend. Hey, what's up with you? And then you got this one over here. I mean, it's nice. You know, when it's light outside, it's, it's bright and blue. Got the raven over there or <laughs> i don't even know if it's a raven and then you come over here and then you got this little room but it's also a second stairwell somewhere where is the stairwell i think it's up top it may be up top let's go up top i believe it is up here yeah yeah here it is here it is you got this right here also oh, there's four i'm tripping there's four areas before we go in there let's see what's over here Oh, this is the seventh year rooms. And I like the way the seventh year rooms look. There's no bump beds. It's just the curtains. I think that's really cool. Let's go over here to this common area. You see, look at this, man. Elegant, man. This is real elegant. And again, when it's light outside, there's so much light coming through here. But let's go up to the fourth common area. Oh, I can't go up here yet. I'm, I'm restricted. But yo, let me tell y'all something. Since the last time I played this, I have achieved greatness. <laughs> I've been playing all the side quests. <laughs> I've been playing all the side quests that I can play and getting all of the scrolls or the um, the spell, the little, the, 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 the papers, bro. I, I forgot it. It slipped my mind right now. But I got all those, the Revelio scrolls i got all of those that i can get without going on to the next part because some of these are only unlocked to you as you progress in the story so let me tell y'all something let me show y'all something real quick your boy is level 16 last time you see me i was probably a level five or something like that i'm level 16 man that means from here on out i'm gonna probably be op going up against some of these challenges you feel what I'm saying? I'm going to be OP. I ain't going to hold you. And also, check out the drip, man. I got this fancy, legendary cloak on. And I got the wizarding hat. 
and I let my hair down, as you can see. <laughs> you see, I'm kind of cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this next mission. I wanted to wait until I was recording to do this next mission because I didn't want to leave y'all behind. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go to Professor Fig, and I believe we're gonna have to learn Incendio, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll go ahead and get there, and we'll come back in right after. All right, so we're in Professor Fig's classroom. No one is here because it is late night. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit right here until the morning, until he gets into this classroom. I wanna be the first person to talk to him. And as you can see, he's right here. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver? Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. All right, so they want us to go ahead and... Look, I'm just going to keep it real with you. Any challenge in front of me is going to get knocked out because, again, I am a level 16. I don't think the game really intended for you to be a level 16 at this point. And a lot of people probably aren't doing side quests, but me... I'm gonna do all the side quests. I'm not even gonna hold you. Again, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I read the books. Matter of fact, I'm rereading the books as we speak, matter of fact. And I wanna get the most out of this game as possible. And also I wanna let y'all know that I did not continue any of the story mode without you guys. I have not did anything outside of what you've already seen besides just the side quests. And the side quests don't really matter. It's just a little small task they let you do just to get some XP and, of course, finish some ta some task quest. Like, it'll be like, get, build relationships and shit like that. So I haven't really done anything outside of that besides just do the small quest so that I can level up. Whoa, 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 I didn't even know this was still up here. Let me grab that. Revelio. I believe we have some matters to discuss. I believe so too. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. What do you mean you by you? You know where to find me once you've finished. 
All right, but how, what you mean by I'm surprised that... Seems crossed warrants isn't as secret as it's believed to be. What you know that I don't know? Hey, Lucan. You want to know something, man? Who let this young boy be the leader of this club? Let's go ahead and do the next round. I'm ready Hello, to feed you something. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Absolutely. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that girl, Natty. Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Three on one? All right, let's do it. I mean, three on two. Okay, 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 okay. I don't need this. Protego! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. You can do it right now if you really want to. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Absolutely. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Man, I can't believe Natty left us hanging like that, bro. Ooh. That Slytherin boy. Excellent form. Excellent form! Let me oh, I am Good the Grand boy. Wizard, bro. Let me open. Let's get it! That's it! I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. This old baby ass voice they gave this man. Right, so let's see what's finished. next on the quest. 
and I'm now a level 17, and we just getting started, man. I, I'm so proud of that. We are a level 17, and we're just getting started. So let's go ahead and return back to the professor. I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel to her, so I'll catch y'all when I come. All right, so we finally about to learn. I a trust new move. Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. You ain't saying nothing, old lady. You ain't saying nothing, old lady. Do you not see this expensive Gucci on me? Good work. All right, so we don't really need the building, the uh, repair. <laughs> it's not even called that, but we don't need the repair spell. So we'll go ahead and put that as X. It is repair. I was saying it right, man. I'm, I'll be trying not to say stuff wrong and be forgetting. You know, go with your first. Always go with your instincts. Your first natural instinct because it's always correct. When you second guess, you be on that other stuff. But let's go ahead and try it out right here. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it, and do try not to incinerate yourself. I might, but let, let's take a moment to look at the swag real quick. I got the enchanted gloves on with the Gucci robe with the hat. You know what I'm saying? The hat. I don't know what the hat from. It's just a hat. And I got my locks down. My Shirley locks. Not my dreadlocks, but my Shirley locks. You feel me? So let's go ahead and return back to Professor Fig and see what he wants us to do. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Man, why are he blaming Professor Fig for the incident with the dragon? It's crazy. But yeah, man, let me go ahead and show you my wand because I did restart because you can't switch houses in the middle of the game. So I just want to let y'all know that I did restart and pick Ravenclaw. So let me show y'all my wand. This is the wand I'm rolling with now. Let me go ahead and remove this off. This is what the wand looks like. It looks very magical. And on the right hand side, y'all can see what it is. The U wand, Phoenix Feather, and flexibility, reasonably supple. 14 and a half inches, which is the longest. And again, I didn't create this wand myself. I let uh, wizardingworld.com like, figure that wand out for me. You feel what I'm saying? It figured the wand out for me. And we rolling with it. But I put this little marble handle on there because it got like a little globe at the bottom. I thought that was pretty cool. So we're going to roll with that one. So I just want to let y'all know what I'm rolling with. All right, here's Sebastian. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. 
I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. You know what? I might have fucked up. I shouldn't have told his ass that, man. I shouldn't have told him that. I'm going to keep it one ten percent with Richard. I, I didn't know that he was going to spill the beans like that. I thought he was just going to say, yeah, he was working with the with the little goblin. You know what I mean? I thought that's all he was going to say. But he went into the whole spill, man. Just ran his fucking mouth. Damn, bro. Hopefully it don't come back to bite us, bro. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Bro, I still can't believe he ran his mouth like that, bro. I can't believe he ran his mouth like that, bro. How pathetic of him. Um, if I can see you, the prefects might be able to as well. Man, shut your snitching ass up. But yeah, let that old Sando, man. Hopefully he doesn't... This shit don't come back and bite him, because... Man, he said a lot. I only thought he would say that the, you know, that the guy was working with the goblin. That's it. I didn't expect him to be like, <laughs> and then we was a green goss, and then we, we, we fought a dragon, and then, you know, man, just running the mouth, man. But, I mean, I suppose if he don't keep his mouth shut, we're going to whoop his ass. Oh! Somebody! about as fair as it can get. You don't keep your mouth shut, you're going to get your ass beat. You're going to get your ass beat. Librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. 
You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Aloha Mora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Aloha Mora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Alright, bro. Keep your word and not snitch about what I tell you either, bro. Keep your motherfucking word and don't snitch about what I told you there, buddy boy. Man, I'm trying to stick to the code and not trying to get my guy in trouble, but I didn't know that shit was going to backfire like that, man. That nigga set off an Is explosion. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Let's go get it. Let's go. Oh, this almost got stuck. Alright. She don't know a thing. There's a key over here. I'll come back on my spare time and unlock that thing. Unlock this right here if you didn't know. It brings out a little disc. You put the disc inside this little thing inside your room. That wasn't so difficult after it. all. How to find that book. Revenio. Just gotta make sure it wouldn't be me if I didn't lose. Shout out to Berlizzi. Oh, we fool. That's crazy. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. All right, let's just keep it moving. All right, so we got a set of distractions. Ghost, don't let her see you. All right, let's keep it moving. Snitch ass ghost. The ghosts are the ops too, bro. They the ops. They will tattle till me. Just gonna keep it moving like that, yeah. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else. Rebellion! Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted set? Hogwarts Matron have nothing that can help her. No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. I mean, to be real with you, I'm just going to be playing devil's advocate here. He probably does not know anything. You feel me? He doesn't know anything because he he still got information on me that I came down here looking for something for the professor. Like, yo, he was down there trying to get a fucking something from out of the forbidden section. So, and it's really no use to probably just hide it from him. He probably just would know regardless. You know, man, I got to get all my... My scrolls. Alright, so let's do... Okay, so we gotta move this out the way. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. Snitch, bro. Oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have. I like. Now. Now, where's that damned poltergeist got to? I can get out of trouble, but, you know. I know just that, the spell bro. to repair this armor. Just don't. You know what I'm saying? Throw me under the bus, bro. That's all I'm asking. Don't throw me underneath the bus. Repair him. I 
I had to delete something real quick. I want to see what's some new gloves. All right. Let me put those gloves on real quick. Never mind. I'm not level 18 yet. But if y'all didn't know, each outfit has a defense level that helps your defense and offense go up. And also your health. I don't know if it affects your health. It's just probably maybe your defense and offense. But yeah. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more content. That's it. I see a chest right here. Man. Man, they need to stop that, bro. Like, I really need more for that. Like, bro, don't give me no cloak that helps my stuff go down. And also, if you look at the little cloak icon, it'll show you if it's something that's going to help you go up or down. Had to make some room for this. Ooh, legendary. Let me. Where might this lead? Nah, I'm not gonna put those on right now. But after this mission, I will. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Let's go then. <laughs> Should have used my special move. Oh, I can. Oh, I didn't even know he was there. Incendio. I was too far away. Bisque. I'm ready for this must be the way so. forward, but to where? I'm ready for a fight. <laughs> Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. A scarf, man. Oh, I didn't want that. Nah, I want what's in there. I'm about to make some space. Man, this weak ass. Man, whatever, bro. Alright, so they want to fight? Let's do it. side quest before you attempt the main story. 
because it'd be a cakewalk. It is a book after all. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year, I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but... It was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. I may have messed up by telling old boy. <laughs> I may have messed up. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, 
Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. Snitch. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Ooh. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Hating ass. That's why you ain't no real ghost, Peeve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And just like that, man, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video, man. I want to thank y'all for tuning in with your boy. And if you are new, this is what you should do. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Definitely like and comment if you feel like it. But until the next time we meet, I want y'all to stay safe and stay the fuck out of trouble. <laughs>